Hello? What up? It's me. It's that guy. Um, this is more enslaved. I think this is the third day of playing it. Maybe it's no, maybe it's the fourth. This place. It might be the third. <laughs> I can't remember. Back in the war they built mechs here. Oh yeah, we just arrived here, so I've seen this cutscene. What are we doing here? They're making Looking big mechs. I suppose no. the robots are making no big mechs. This is where he lives. But it might be that people made big mechs hundreds of years ago. If he's still alive. Like, I'm not entirely certain on the timeline so far, but I think they said it's like 300 or 600 years ago since the robots uprising. <clears throat> and the robots have evolved, which makes me think that either they're manufacturing new versions of themselves or something else is going on. Ooh, a mask already. Right, get ready for Andy Circus's holiday photos. Yep. I guess that's trying to say that this area used to be like cornfields or wheat fields or whatever, right? It's meant to be a flashback. Still, it's interesting how this story is unfolding. It feels like there's definitely some big plot twist coming, but I don't believe it's telegraphing the plot twist uh, openly. What are these big mounds meant to be? Is this meant to be dirt or rock? Kind of like in places, it looks like rock. Then it kind of looks like flesh. Very weird textures. Like it is rock, right? But then it looks weird. It's not great. You've got to watch out for the water here. It's poisonous from mech fuel. I do think it's pretty cool how they have these little, like, clusters of so, grass and these little bug bug How's particle effects are nice. Pyramid, we're gonna need to follow one of the slave ships. For a PlayStation 3 game from 2010, there are a lot of little yes. cool features like that. It's how we would transport salvage like, to us. even the water moving. Just have to persuade him to let us use it. The water doesn't even look that no, bad. You could that. definitely tell it's war. Kind of looks like rust-filled red war. These things look weird as well. Is this meant to be like a dead plant or some type of alien's nervous system? Like, what the fuck is this? Then why are their heads on spikes? Is this because the guy that's her father's friend kills robots and mounts their heads like trophies? Oh yeah, I got the achievement for um, getting half of the, the red orbs in the game. I mentioned yesterday that the, there's an achievement for getting all of them. I doubt that that's an easy task. I think that's something that's... You're probably going to have to, like, know the number that's in each area, count it up as you're collecting them, and then double and triple check before you leave an area. This isn't the type of game where you could go back to a previous zone and find the ones that you missed. So you need to be pretty diligent in order to do that. I'd almost go as far as to say, you need to be like really anal about it. At the end of the, the game, I'll check my achievements and see if I've collected all of them, but I doubt it. I think I missed like two on the bridge. <laughs> Which is kind of fucked that missing two means you don't get the achievement. You'll never have 100% because you missed two of them on the bridge. Can you go back to the bridge? No. I don't care that much about achievements though, I think everybody knows that. My average completion for a game is 35% achievements, which is normally beating the game once in normal mode. We're fighting these by the way, like there's no way I'm stealthing. I think the stealth is only so that you can choose when you want to fight, really. No way. It didn't tell me this would work here. I actually missed out on a mask in a previous area because I didn't know you could go on the cloud. Flip that switch. This is called the cloud, by the way. But the game didn't tell me I could go in the cloud in that area, so I had no idea. 
completely missed out. That's a pig, because this guy looks like a pig. He has a DLC, and I think I'm actually going to play it. It depends. It depends, like, how, um... How the rest of the game goes, and whether or not I have other stuff to do. But I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to play it. I'm double-checking to see if I've missed any of those orbs, because now I know you can go on the board. Oh! You can't go on the board in this area. Yeah, it's a very strange that there's some areas you can go on the board normally near water. But then the one near the windmill is nowhere near water. Beware of the hog. That's nice. I didn't notice that. Hold on. Does it... How does it tell you? Alright, listen, listen, listen. So that's how it tells you that the, you're able to use it, and then the lights on the cloud go blue. I would never have noticed that. I would never have, like, actually noticed that. I think a permanent UI thing would have been better. Or, I don't know. Maybe not. We didn't miss out on much by missing one mask. Again, all you miss out on is the achievement for collecting all masks. And a couple of Andy Circus holiday photos where it looks like you see back into the past. You see like visions of the past, which still kind of boggle me a bit. Like they boggle my mind a bit because we don't know where they're coming from. There's no way that Andy Circus's character here, Monkey, the guy we're playing as, remembers before the war. It's actually just impossible that these are his memories without a couple of other things having to be true. Either he has to be a clone or there has to be memories inside the headband. There's just too much. I actually saw recently on Instagram the game Raid Shadow Legends has unveiled their next couple of characters and one of them is Sun Wukong. The game is really popular in China, so it makes sense for them to try and like push on that. They already did like a Chinese New Year thing and stuff like that, but um, they're releasing Sun Wukong as a character that I think there's no... The way that game works is really weird. They don't do gacha like Japanese games do, and it's, it's really bad. Japanese gacha is bad, but it's nowhere near as bad as... European gacha. I'll give you an example. So like, in a Japanese gacha game, you might have increased rates for a new character. So if the chance of getting a legendary is 1%, um, and then the, there's 20 legendaries in the game, you have an equal chance, a 5% chance of getting each of those legendaries. So you draw your 100 boxes, you probably get like one or two legendaries, because it's a 1% chance, and then which legendary you get is a secondary role um, that takes place behind the scenes and you have a 5% chance of each. And during increased rate events, what the Japanese gacha games do is they'll make the base level of getting um, a special hero, like a legendary, higher. And then they'll make it so that it's a higher percent of getting that legendary that's the new one. So that character people who have spent money and have like a lot of the other ones have a good chance of getting this new one. Raid Shadow Legends doesn't do that. It doesn't make, like, half of the legendaries given out that week be the special character. What it does is it says, hey, open a hundred blue boxes that cost, you know, depending on the bundle you buy, between a dollar and three dollars each. So you're talking, like, two hundred dollars worth of boxes, and we'll give you the new hero. Which is fucked. Like, no other gacha game is as bad as that. No other. I was meant to be pulling a lever, wasn't I? Started ranting about gacha games. In the other gacha game, well, I don't play raid anymore, but in the other gacha game um, that I've played, Nikkei, Goddess of Victory, in Nikkei, if you miss the pull on a special hero, you get a gold ticket. If you miss the pull on a regular hero, you get a silver ticket. So that means like you get gold tickets if you pull during events, silver tickets outside of events, and if you have 200 tickets, you could just buy the hero which sounds very similar to raids, 
but it's not. Because you can keep those tickets. You can keep those tickets for six months and then use them on a hero you want. Whereas in Raid, you've got to spend $250 <laughs> then and there in that, like, 10-day window. And if you open 190 boxes, you have to either buy those extra 10 or you're never going to get it. And it's, it's just... it's so bad. It's so bad, but you're talking about, you know, the difference between a, a gacha game where people could spend 10k and get everything, or a gacha game where people could spend a quarter million and not get what they want. I remember the Transformers game, there was a guy that spent like a quarter million and didn't get uh, the hero he wanted. Oh no, he wanted multiples of a hero, because collecting multiples gives you like bonuses. And he spent a quarter of a million dollars. Um, it got to the point where the service team working for the game actually called the guy up to make sure he was okay. What's with all the big stuff? Like, okay with spending that much money. And the music, how will that make sense? Now that, I... I can't tell you. Anyway, after a ten minute rant about gacha games, let's play some Enslaved Odyssey to yes, the West. the boat is here. Just got one problem. How does he have so many yeah, robots right. here? Like uh, the pig guy. Are the are they like locking him in? It doesn't feel like like he's in danger. Tripataka doesn't feel panicked. Like she's not saying, "Oh no, there's robots everywhere. What if he's in danger?" She's not saying that type of thing. She's just worried about the boat and you know, getting over here. Alright, lower this section of machinery for her to get across, but I need to kill things first. Fine. Oh, they're active. They're awake. Oh, I don't have any. I thought I had bullets, but I don't have any bullets. It's fine. Why does it not look like I'm hitting that guy at all? This is a bomb dude, and you, there's an achievement for throwing a bomb dude into like two or three other characters, but I've never done it. I've never done it. It's so difficult. You need to kill the bomb dude first, and most of the time I go for the shield guys. Huh? What the fuck? I, I kind of like some of the controls in this game are so clumsy for example like if I'm trying to jump down there I can't just choose to jump I have to go to the ledge and then I have to like press a and hope it doesn't do a full jump or a roll I Hope that I'm in the perfect position where it does like the little tiny baby jump Like here it does a little step off jump because it knows I'm on the edge of a ledge that feels like it's a lot of extra work for the developers to put in those bounding boxes on the ledges of things. Whereas they could just give you like a normal jump, right? They could just give you a jump and have you like, instead of climbing all this shit, just have you jump it. Maybe what the developers wanted you to do is, um, like here. I couldn't jump off in, on the right, but I could jump on the left. Maybe it is to like make the game more grounded. Is all I can think of. So that it doesn't feel as arcadey, maybe? Maybe like make it a little bit more realistic. That's all I can think of as a reason for that. I think if I go down there without her, it'll probably start frying my brain. We're only really getting this boat because of her, right? Because 
monkey's fine without without a boat. I don't think she can do that on her own. I think she needs me. Good. Now help me across. Yeah, she needs me to throw her. Said this a million times as well. Oh god, see, like... Oh! So not even the little, um... What do you call it? Hazard tape thing. Not even the hazard tape thing tells me where I can jump. <laughs> I tried like five different ways to jump there and none of them worked. <laughs> he just fucking lobs her, dude. You okay? There is one more down there. I think I'm gonna drop her and then go and get that on my own. Like when you're on the disc, there's no um, problem of jumping off ledges anywhere. It only seems to be when you're on foot. All right, we're going on this go boat. Four more mechs turn up. I'll drive. You man the gun. Why is he letting her drive after what happened on the bridge? Crazy. No, I missed an orb! The gun has a light you are fucking kidding me. I hate that. There's there's no way you're gonna get that achievement. It's it's wild. I spent extra time there. Trying to get it. I like the way the turret works. Look at that. It has like the front forks of a motorcycle. Yeah. It's like the front forks of a motorcycle to control the... To control the turret's spin. You mean like me? As well as being resourceful and strong individuals. Sure. I don't like this. Something doesn't feel right. I don't see anything. is right. Oh wait. Nope, she's right. It's both. Uh, can this boat go a little bit faster? I could swim faster than this. No. The engine's cut out. Well, fix it. I'm trying. The laser sights are really helping. a fun fact, it actually moves quicker when you're zoomed in. Or maybe it moves at the same speed, but it just looks quicker because your FOV is tighter. 
You know how like most games when you zoom in with a weapon, the the turret spins slower? As if they're giving you more accuracy? In this game it feels faster. Yeah, it is faster. Like you're way faster. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That is way faster. <laughs> what the fuck? How did I not notice? It must be the same on all of them. All 19 turret sections in this game. I really don't know why she's driving. She she can't drive for shit. We saw her on that bridge. Nice I've not forgotten. Back on the gun. You might need it. Interestingly, we're near water, but again, my cloud isn't activated. Probably because it doesn't want me to go ahead on the cloud, but still. Ooh. If there's a cell here, that must mean I get to come off of the boat at some point. So I do get to explore here, and if you look on the bottom left, the cloud is actually glowing blue. This is an anti -mech device. The scanner won't activate yep. organic matter. Yep. It's gonna let me use the cloud. It only reacts to mechs. It only reacts to mechs. We don't know if he's a mech yet. That was one of my theories, remember. He's either a clone or something, I don't know. It could be the headband. Be careful, monkey. Pigsy land? Great. Destroy that turret. There's the other one. <laughs> the fisheye lens on this camera is great. Can I come back through here first? Yeah, boy. Can I upgrade? I can upgrade. Nice. Um, I thought I needed to be standing next to her to do this. Let's go for health and then more staff stuff. Because the staff is like one of the most powerful things in the game. And I think I have enough for a shield upgrade. Nah. Close enough? I was trying to get the achievement where you kill two things with the the bomb enemy and then it like you know it's either two or three you have to kill with it. Like, look at this. How are you gonna find all the little red dots when they're that hidden? Such an achievement. What is it with games and having achievements that are just impossible? I think I've missed I've missed two that I know about, or maybe three. Fuck! <laughs> I have to redo the whole section. <laughs> oh no, it didn't save. It doesn't auto save when you exit combat. Oh my god. Hold on. I don't have to collect all of those pickups again. Normally when you die all the pickups respawn. That one did. Hold on, hold on. I gotta get them clustered. Uh, where's the other one? Fuck. Is 
So when it goes into the takedown thing and you get to decide where to throw the bomb enemy, it seems like where the enemies stand after that cutscene is kind of RNG. So possibly it's a lot more difficult than it looks. Oh fuck off! Oh. <laughs> the same one! Uh, this game's worse than Dark Souls. Why am I even doing this? I know I'm not going to get the achievement, but I do want all the upgrades I can get. And again, this one respawns, so... I did a counter move there and it didn't work. Like, I pulled it off, I definitely blocked at the right time and then pressed the right key afterwards, but it just didn't do anything. Alright, don't die to these fucking mines. I think I'll kill this guy first, and then I'll do the mines. And I'll approach them from this... What? What? Oh! It's the water that's instant killing me, not the mine. The mine is knocking me off the board. Alright, fuck this. I'm not even gonna fight. I'm just gonna let them shoot at me from the shore. And I'm gonna try and pick up all this stuff first. That should be it. Another funny thing is that the game doesn't let you jump off of every ledge. You have to jump off of ledges at specific points, right? But for some reason, it lets you jump off the board at any point. <laughs> like, it doesn't care about that. And then if you're attacking something near a ledge, or near water, it lets the attack carry you forward. So for example, if you're if you're attacking, your attacks automatically walk you forward, right? Like any other game. But if you're standing right next to the water, it will actually let you walk into the water doing that. Which it kind of shouldn't. Fun times. I love this animation where he breaks the thing's neck, even though it doesn't have one. <laughs> that's a different animation. Yeah, that's a different one. He didn't take over the tower. Instead of taking over the turret, he just kind of destroyed it. If I do this, will it save? It did. Bottom right, it actually saved. Whoa. I didn't see the red ring. For the, the mine. What does that say? No mechs, no slaves beyond this point. I mean, that would explain why the gate went off when it detected the slave collar.
Oh shit. I went too fast. I just heard the Tannoy system say, Welcome to Pigsy Pigsy Land. <laughs> oh no. There's something very like Borderlands or Mutant Year Zero, maybe even a little bit Fallout about the design of this area. <laughs> Fucking pigsy land. This could easily be like in Fallout 3. Also, why is there no boat noise? So how are we actually gonna find this guy? How is this boat moving? Know. Does it have a fan on the back? We're sort of hoping he'll find us. Well. The boat has a fucking yeah, giant V6 engine and sure two fans and then jets or those are exhausts, I guess. It's not making a single noise. <laughs> I don't have sound effects turned off. I mean, listen. Okay, hold on. Just get this junk out of it, the way. It has a noise for the engine going off, but there's no engine noise when the thing's fucking on. Oh no, more Andy Circus holiday foes. Okay, he's gonna be at Disneyland. If you had Combine Harvester on your Andy Circus holiday photo bingo board, then, you know, mark that off. You've seen another one of those things, haven't you? <laughs> it's getting worse. It must be driving you crazy. <laughs> you know, I thought I was going crazy, but. Uh, not anymore. You were right. It's the headband. It's tuning me into something else. Oh, shit! Uh-oh. I guess I'm just going for takedowns. Don't worry, I'm gonna bring it down. Or maybe this is just a scripted race. Hurry, monkey! Do it now! <laughs> I can't. Like the truck clip scene from the Dark Knight. He did a Dark Knight truck flip scene on a robot. <laughs> Christopher Nolan would be proud. Hey, Trevor, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. There's the pig. Freeze. Good. Now when I give the say so, you gotta turn. Very slow. Any tricks? I'm gonna light you up. Now turn. Trip? Is that you? Oh, Pigsy! Pigsy! <laughs> <laughs> Are you here alone with her? Where's your father?
I think we're um, getting closer to the end of the game. I think there's 16 chapters, and if this is the start of chapter 10, we're at least past the halfway point. Oh my god. He has a heart-shaped bed with, like, pin-up posters and a fucking disco ball. Oh my god. We're gonna follow a slave ship west to find out who's behind all <laughs> what this. What the fuck? Then I'm gonna kill him. Does he have armpit hair? It'll be dangerous, maybe even suicide, but... Save your breath, Trip. I'm in. You'll help us. You're in trouble, I'm bad. And anyway, what's all this talk about suicide? I wonder who did the tattoo. Taking the slaves is no different from any other fight. It's all a question of having the right weaponry. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That ship that nearly grabbed you, it's been coming here to the crater area every day for the past six months. I, I couldn't figure out why. So I started to keep track of what they were taking. Oh, yeah. And piece by piece, I started to put it together. You said weaponry. What weaponry? <laughs> the Leviathan. At least that's what I call it. This thing I think they're making, a mega mech, the biggest ever created. With that kind of weaponry, you could take out anyone you wanted. So we wait for the salvagers to This come would be a really cool level, kind of similar to maybe the ship, how we could we maneuver fly, around the ship. I'm gonna need some spare parts. Luckily, I know precisely where they are. That would be pretty cool. We're looking for a distributor, a heat sink, a supercharger, and a power cell. Supercharger. So, this is where we'll find the distributor. You better stay here, Trip. I wonder if Monkey's um, scarification Man's branding or whatever is ever going to be explained. It kind of looks like scars, right? But then it also kind of looks like a skin graft that's healed. Come on, it's this way. And then the only way to really do those type of patterns would maybe be branding. I'm not even going to point out that it did a little uh, cinematography zoom in on the the heart, not heart, the like it's lipstick the print there. belt buckle. This pig, dude. This pig is over designed. I love it. Look at the run. Look at the hustle. It's like a fat kid running for cake. He loves it. I can't use the hoverboard here. Come on, dude. This would be a really great place just to give the player the hoverboard, let them collect some of these little fucking Orbeez. I'm actually almost at um, max level anyway. Like, I've nearly gotten everything. It's mostly just um, the health upgrades, health regen, and then the shield that I need. Everything else is, is fine. Increase the number of strikes monkey can block before taking damage. That's for your actual block, which is like this thing, which I never use. They don't make the risk to reward of blocking worthwhile. And then the block counter is really clumsy. The block counter is... I'm gonna get it wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's it's block and then yeah, block and then B. Hey, so how about we make this more interesting? Interesting. Mm -hmm. You want to race to the top? Fuck's sake! Do I need to win this race? You ready? Three. Oh two, my god! One. Go! Are you fucking serious? You can't play a cutscene in the middle of a race. Hey! Hey, that's cheating! See you at the top. He's playing a fucking cutscene in the middle of a race. Come on, bro. Careful now. You're gonna love the next bit. Is that all you got, big boy? <laughs> big boy. <laughs> oh, oh watch that bit. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> hey, you 
you've done this before, obviously. <laughs> Is this how you spend your time? What? He went the wrong way. <laughs> what is going on? Oh my god, I'm missing all the pickups. There's no way you can win this race. This is just rigged. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Glad you enjoyed yourself down there. Oh. You having fun? Hey. Come on. Hey, I thought you wanted a race. <laughs> oh, yeah, pretty, pretty fast for a pig. He'll already be at the top. Yep. Did I get an achievement? What? How'd you do that? Well, just for a second, I thought you had me. I only lost on account of my bad arm. All right. If it hadn't been for that, I'd have, I'd have left you for dust. Uh huh. I just need to stop a moment to catch my breath. So. We haven't been properly introduced. Pigsy. Now, Pigsy? How did you pick up a name like that? Having a clue. How about you? What's your name? Monkey. Monkey. <laughs> oh, monkey. Yeah. Yes, that's kind of obvious. Mm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'll use my grapple to get us both down, huh? Great. Uh, I don't suppose I can go back and get some of those pickups, though, right? Yeah. The game isn't great at letting you kind of explore on your own. Think like less Assassin's Creed or I guess any other like modern game with free climbing like Tomb Raider or whatever. And it's more that every ledge has a little like climb point and once you've done it that's it. Why is that sound effect so fucking loud? Maybe I can go back up. Hold on, hold on. Let me try. Maybe I can go back up. It doesn't feel right for it to only give me half of the loot. There wasn't a mask here or anything either. I want to go this way. Ah. I don't think I can go further than this. That's it. If there was anything at the top, it's gone. Okay, okay, there's a part in the game, about like two hours into it, where we have to go all the way around. Yeah, yeah, it's um, it's chapter, chapter six, 
It's actually chapter 6. It's not 2 hours in, it's further. When you find the village, Tripitaka uses the last zipline to go along the zipline cable, and Monkey has to work his way around to one of the other towers and use that tower because it has a zipline on it. And then in this cutscene, Monkey just used his fucking staff as a zipline. Like as a zipline handle. So he could have probably just done that and saved you all that time. Well done, boys. I won the race. I did. No, you didn't. Fucking hell. Sure. Trip. Are you I sure won. you won? Did you win the race? Are you sure you Swing won? The supercharger. Follow me. I wonder if we're gonna have a shooting challenge, because he has a gun. Did you notice that the tooltip for that door had the okay. silhouette of monkey and the trip? This door is the actual mech factory. But trip did That's nothing. <laughs> I'll get this open. Here's the plan. There's a supercharger on that platform. There's a problem. Some very strong mech signatures up there. Easy. To reach it, all we need to do is raise these two walkways. I actually only have um, regular ammo. I can hang back with this baby. If I had like three stun ammo, that would be much easier. Let's do it. Okay. Let's get the first walkway up. Okay, monkey. Turn it on. It's too far to jump. Throw me across. What do you mean? How did people get across without monkeys to throw them? first. The animations are really the thing that stands out in this game.
This is a really cool animation. We've seen it before, but it is really cool. He like deadlifts the, the cables. That's it. You see a way up there? Yeah, over here. Is she gonna lower? The yeah, there we go. That's the first time Get she's actually here. done that. Helped me up somewhere. Help me across. Oh shit. <laughs> Supercharger. Let's get back to Pigsy and see what's next. Well, I hope this Pigsy character knows what he's doing. He's never let me down before. Can I just jump down and then Yeah. Could you get down there and yeah, lower sure. this for me? I like that none of the escort things have glitched for me. Like it doesn't we feel like the game's here, bugged ever. I'll throw an explosive charge, but but you'll have to shoot it to detonate it. You can't do that, can't you? There. All yours. Nice shot, monkey. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, it was okay. <laughs> Over here. This next part of the factory we're going to is really cool. That looks like the the save icon. Oh, I'd love to have seen this place in its prime. Yeah, that looks like the save icon. It just says corp. We know there's one bad like big company called Pyramid who made the original the robots. Can you get trip up here? Yeah. Uh, what about me? Just wait there a second. Oh. You should be able to get across now. I want that mask really badly. I want to see more of <laughs> his holiday photos. Machinery in the way. Let me see what I can do. There's still power. I should be able to start the machinery up. Okay. Then do it. Uh oh. I was gonna say it's a little bit too fast to jump through a gap in it. But we're not jumping through gaps. Oh, we are now. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. That's my first death while doing the, like, climbing stuff. My first ever death. I'm stuck. There's machinery in the way. Let me see what I can do. There's still power. I should be able to start the machinery up. Okay. And do it. I'm stuck here. There's no way across. Can we lower that walkway? I'll throw a bomb. You see if you can shoot it, monkey. Trip. You think you can make that jump? This one's easy. There's a console over there. I'm gonna check it out. Yes. This controls the hydraulics. Let me get them working. Done. Can you jump across? I can turn these for you. Oh. Just tell me when. Okay, turn it. Let's keep moving. We're almost there. You know that area that she just came from, where she activated everything? I feel like I should be able to go back to that and get the, the mask and then those other orbs. Maybe I can ask her to keep turning things, or maybe it's just like, like this? Big red barn. <laughs> it's not just me. This animation is sus. Like, look how much jiggle they gave her. It's not even jiggle, it's like her hips move. Like, they in intentionally made her hips move like that. It's provocative for no reason. I think because their animation system is so detailed and allows for all this, they here. just did it. It's not some dead or alive <laughs> physics. It's more just like, the way it's animated. Ugh. This is the main hangar where they constructed Titans. Are you telling me Dude, it is half past midnight. Titan through there? Actually, there is one. But luckily for us, they never fully assembled it. <laughs> now, all the way up there is a heat sink. We need it. How do we get up there? It's a bit tricky. I've used these cranes before to shift heavy salvage. I think you could use them to get across. Okay. I see the heat sink. Monkey, if you can get me up there, I can release it. And looks like we've got company too. Monkey, Pixie, can you take care of those mechs? No problem. I'll find a vantage point to cover you. Oh, 
I really wish I'd played this game when it came out, but I always say that about things. Always, always, always. So do you want me to wait before I engage? Because I can just shoot them. the counter-attack. pick her up then. There's no point in making her climb that herself. Let's try to get these cranes working. I wonder who voices this character. Uh, like, I'm actually gonna Google it. Who voices Trip Attacker? I think you can get to the crane from that platform. Here come more mechs! I got your backs! Lindsay Shaw? Actually sounds a little bit like Marissa... Marisha Ray. Just a little bit. Can't say I'm entirely familiar with Lindsay Shaw. I don't think I've heard her name before. What am I doing? I was meant to be killing Max, and I'm just like going for a low jump. Oh, fuck. Do I have to go all the way around? I do. All because of my greed, wanting to get every orb, even though it's now impossible. That is a bitch though, right? Especially when you can't save the game and then go back. It is a bitch. A turret. You miss one orb, you miss out on the whole achievement. At least there's enough orbs in the game that if you do every like combat thing and collect all the, the orbs you get from combat, You'll at least have enough to get all the upgrades. I think. It's running out. Be careful. Okay. Fully charged. Is he gonna do the neck breaker one? And take control of it? No. Exploded. Hmm. Where do I need you to go? We can't reach the heat sink from this side. We need to get to the other crane. Okay. Well, one of us has to be operating the cranes. Do I spin this with you on it now? And then go up and around? I think I do. Yeah. Then I go up and around. And... Monkey, figure out a way to get me over yeah, there. yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. I 
still don't like her calling me monkey. It just feels fucked. It's dehumanizing and not in like a fun, familiar way. Like, in <laughs> not being dehumanized can never be fun or familiar, but you know what I mean. Like, the way she says it is like belittling, degrading. Yeah, it's not like a. It's not like a fun pet name, is what I mean. She says it like an insult every time, and it's always followed by an instruction. <laughs> okay, Trip, get on. Now, if she has controls over there, she can just wind that back and let me get on it, and it'll be super easy. If not, I think I have to go up and around the right on my own. Oh, damn. I can't reach it. You're gonna have to get over here and throw me up. Okay, I'll find a way to get you. Well, I can see a route to you if I can just get over there. Do I have to work all the way back? I think I do. I gotta work all the way back. Oof. Yep. So the quickest way is to jump down here, run around, and then go up the way I came that last time. Remember the way that like I had to go twice? Because I dropped down to pick up the gems calling them gems. They're like energy things. I don't know. Orbs? The word orb was ruined for me by like the 2018 games done quick. <laughs> I think I can hear some mechs coming. Hang on! I'm on my way! Dude, she fucking... She roars! Oh yeah, she has an EMP. And you can actually make her EMP stronger in New Game Plus mode. That was close. Now let's get this thing and get the hell out of here. Big man. What? You know, we uh, are you together? Trip enslaved me. And if I don't do what she says, she causes me a lot of pain. And if I still don't do what she says, she kills me. All right. <laughs> it's just I always sort of uh, fancied my chances myself with Trip, you know. <laughs> but if there's something already between you, uh, I'd respect that. I'm not the kind of guy to go muscling in. Easy. She can hear every word we say. <laughs> oh my god. I want to take the chances, go ahead.
trip. <laughs> you grow up so fast. <laughs> yeah, you're a woman already, and maybe I was thinking you might need a man, you know. That patronizing head pump. Oh my god. So how to work out for you? Let's go. Got more stuff to get. <laughs> what was that facial animation? <laughs> for animations that are really like pretty like um bar setting at the time. I mean twenty ten. Pretty good. I didn't I didn't know how to read that one at all. I really feel like um Shadow the Tomb Raider had some of the best facial animations I've ever seen. But that's way later than this game. <gasps> no way. They used the big scorpion tail what what is the cinematography in this game? Who did it? What a god. Whoever directed these missions. Amazing. We're on the fucking love okay. boat. <laughs> One more thing left to get. A power cell. This is where we find it. You got the hearts made out of the mechs? Come on. It looks like this is another area where I get to go in the cloud. Uh oh. Actually, no, not uh oh. If it's a shooting mission, that's fine. There's an upgrade you can get that doubles the damage of your staff. And then there's another upgrade that actually like quadruples it. And it means oh, that basically nice. everything dies in one hit. At least in normal mode it does. I'll cover you guys from up here. There they are. Take cover. Yeah, this this shouldn't be difficult at all. Alright. If it has a shield, it needs to be hit by a blue thing first, then an orange thing, so. Makes it a little bit tougher, but not really. Is that a pure orange reference? Switching sides. You mean he's gonna be gay or. Or he's gonna fight for the robots? Which one? Photos. It's more like suburban America, small town America. I kind of felt like if it was gonna be Monkey's Memories, it would be more stuff in a city, because he sounds like he's from a city. Well, his accent does. But it's not Monkey's Memories; it's somebody else's. The power must have shorted. How do we get out of here? I don't know. Wow, it's dark in here. We ran out of animation budget. It doesn't smell too good either. It wasn't me. Here, allow me. <laughs> Here's a breath of fresh air. Oh, shut up. I've never been here before. It makes me a little jumpy. And how'd you know that there's a power cell here? A 
flown over it plenty of times. Is there a chance that Trip is a robot? I mean, the alert system went off when we went through on the boat, detecting a robot, and we we dismissed it as being the slave collar. Look at this place. The slave headband. I wonder why this place freaks him out. I don't know. But, I don't know, man. I mean, it would be a weird plot twist. Especially since uh, Pigman says that she grew up, right? He specifically says, you grew up so quick. Which would mean that she's not a robot. But then we do know robots can evolve in this game, so maybe it does. It does imply that robots could do stuff like that. The flashback things are so weird. Especially since we, we've established that we are on Earth, right? Like, we know we're on Earth. It doesn't need to remind us of them. This is a weird camera, by the way. Come on, leave me there. Beautiful area. Waterfall looks cool. There's some atmospheric perspective going on. So that's the, the kind of fading of colors and contrast in the distance. Um, where they all take on a hue based on the, the sun and the atmosphere. We even got a rainbow there. Can I angle this better to get a good view? Nope. Huh? Maybe I'll get a good view from up from up here. The rainbow is really interesting because it disappears if you're over here, but it comes back when you're here. You can mostly see it where the, the black areas are. So, monkey, let me ask you a question. Yeah. You use a lot of hair product. What? Max up ahead. Okay, let me deal with this. This looks like a good spot. <laughs> okay, when you're ready, monkey. Always ready, Pigsy. Hmm. <laughs> The reason both of them got stunned is because my is because my stun kind of like does an area now. It was one of the first upgrades I got for the staff. Yeah, sometimes. Well, it's not destiny. It's a huge mech. Come on, we're nearly there. Was that meant to be a joke? That was a terrible joke. It's a monkey. I'm you know what picking ice her up. Cream is? No. Because you appear to have an ice cream stuck on your head. <laughs> huh? Why did he go super slow there? Hey monkey, do you know what ice cream is? Because you appear to have an ice cream stuck on your head. Excellent joke, Pigsy. Fantastic. You're really impressing the ladies. Absolute Riz Lord. So, that's the power cell we need. Lucky. Having one just sitting there. Mm. So I should just go and get it, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, one thing, monkey. What? Watch out for the rhino. The rhino? The best thing he could have done there was have it sideswipe him without moving the camera so that monkey just gets knocked out of frame by it. Get out of this mess alive, Max. 
I don't know how to, how to fight this. Okay, it's a little bit hard to read the sounds on it too. Screw yourself, you fat freak! No, monkey! I'm being serious! Shoot the bomb from the neck and come to Okay, okay, but just so you know, this doesn't even come close to making us even! Hit it when it's down. You've just got to wait. They really like this kind of bullfighting boss fight mechanic. I guess program it once and then just repeat it, right? Why not? Oh, it reset our positions. It's weird that this game doesn't have a way to lock on to targets. cool boss fight by the way gotta say i kind of wish it was longer because it feels like it's going to be over after this pre-rendered cutscene i wonder why this is pre-rendered are you gonna put your fingers in your ears Tells me we're just friends. I know what that means. She's had a head turned by a monkey. I don't know what you're talking about. And if you had any sense, you wouldn't be trying to hit on a girl who has just lost her father. Ah, uh, so that's your game, huh? Huh? The shoulder to cry on. You're crazy. Crazy like a fox. No, no, like a pig. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh yeah, there's there's no way. If you've got to get every single red orb in a playthrough for that achievement, come on. I know I keep going back to it, but you're gonna have to do it during these parts without an, a reset button or anything? I just missed one. Like, there's no way. 
Why not make it 90%? Or make a chapter select once you beat the game and show a percentage, show how much are left. I don't know. There's a million things you can do to make things more user friendly. It's like a, looks like a pizza oven on the back of the, the box. I don't think she's teenage. I think she's like 25. I wonder how old Tripatak is meant to be. She looks older than teenage. Gee, what the fuck? That flying thing, I thought was going to be a boss, by the way. We saw that in the, the cutscene after we raced up the tower. I really thought those flying enemies were going to be like a, a part of the boss fight. This thing. 500 miles? My calculations, we traveled 1200 miles. I hope we get there soon. <laughs> They're losing altitude. Looks like they're coming into land. We're actually about 800 miles out, right, from where we started. Unidentified flying craft, why are you approaching our airspace? We have no landing codes for your vessel. Unidentified craft, do you copy? Come in immediately. Yeah, yeah, I, I copy. Unidentified craft, why are you on a landing trajectory? Oh, we, we ran into a problem. Uh, some, some turbulence. Turbulence? Uh, yes, sir. We have no reports of any turbulence, and we have a report that salvage ships have been shadowed by an unidentified craft fitting your description. Really? Well, uh, how unusual. I certainly don't know anything about that. <laughs> unidentified craft, please transmit your landing codes. The landing codes? Affirmative, transmit your landing codes, or we will be forced to assume your ship is hostile, and we will open fire. Yeah, uh, copy. Uh, just a minute. Uh, well... Um, uh, my landing codes are, um, one. One? Yes. One what? Two. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, this, this is so fucking sh It's like a D&D &D fucking campaign and he's failing a speech check. It's so bad. One. One wall. <laughs> wow. Well, this is a Yeah. Well, at least I get to be on the inside this time. Hey, monkey, would you mind shifting your That was great. That little piece of voice acting. Just your hand is right on my <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this game got unhinged so fast. I'm I'm actually sorry that I talked over the top of that. I should have just let that play speak for itself. We're definitely playing the Pig Z DLC. He has a mission all on his own, and we're definitely playing it. I think you collect Playboy photos, that's one of the achievements, is collecting, like, magazines. Oh, that's sore. Hey, Pigsy, are you absolutely sure that the Leviathan is here? Oh, yeah. It's here. You wait. It'll be awesome. It's here. So Take it, monkey. But how? 
that's how. Great. But where do we find one? There's a console here. I'll see what I can find. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. According it is this, 1 a.m. The subs are in some kind of hangar. It's behind that door. I'm gonna save the game. And we're gonna pick this up tomorrow. And hopefully we finish it tomorrow. Now, if I level up, it saves. But it also saves if I exit. So we'll let it do okay. its save, and then I'll exit. Alright, Auf Wiedersehen, tschüss. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm enjoying this game. I want to finish it. I want to find out more about this story. I'm... I'm not getting myself too hyped in case the story ends up a bit like uh, ReCore. ReCore is my go-to game when I talk about games with bad endings because that is one of the worst endings in a video game I've ever seen. It was essentially like a 30, 40 second, not even pre-rendered cutscene that explained nothing, finished no loose ends, and then the DLC also didn't finish the game either. Like, it's so bad. I always rant about it. It's, it's just, ReCore had one of the worst endings. I'm kind of glad they're not making another one because it, they left it so open-ended that a sequel would almost just be a part two, if that makes any sense. Like, it's not even a finished product. All right, anyway, enough ranting. Good night. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss.